What did Spengler really mean with his title Der Untergang des Abendlandes? Commonly translated, the decline of the West. But note immediately that Abendland does not really mean the West and certainly not West in the political sense in which we understand it today. Abendland translates literally to the land of the evening. Untergang, of course, does mean decline, but it could also mean the going down. So we could just translate Spengler's title in the most obvious way. The decline of the West, and that's certainly correct, and even gets at something, to a certain degree at least, that Spengler does have in mind. He does believe that all cultures have a life cycle, and that once the civilization phase has begun, the decline of the culture has set in. Yet the German title bears a deeper meaning also. So let's retranslate again, and now closer to the German. Now the title says in English, the going down of the land of the evening. Now what could this other understanding of this title reveal? The going down of the land of the evening now says that the land of the evening, which necessarily relates to the lands of the morning and of the day, must go down. But go down in which sense? Where? Is this perhaps a reference to catabasis, the necessary descending of the hero into the underworld? It may thus also be a reference to Nietzsche's Zarathustra, which begins with Zarathustra's going down, Untergang, However, at the time of noon, not at the time of the evening. And after all, Nietzsche is one of the main thinkers that Spengler takes inspiration from. Zarathustra has to go down in order to return transformed, and in this way to help birth a new world, to prepare the birth of the child. Does the land of the evening need to go down in order to find its place again? and amongst the lands of the day and of the morning? What might going down look like outside the schema of decline, which all too easily affects the imagination in a certain way? What could arise when the inevitable ascension follows? That a new dawn is about to spring, if and only if that decline first occurs? The title indeed seems to imply both the decline as much as a new beginning, a new dawn. So we implore you to join us when we consider these questions of the destiny of the land of the evening, which cannot be viewed separately from the other lands. We are offering a course on Oswald Spengler's Decline of the West, the going down of the land of the evening this October. You can follow the link in the description of this video to enroll. Thank you very much indeed.